بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ کنٹینیوئنگ دا ٹاپک آف فل ویو ریکٹیفائر ویئر ٹو ڈے ویئر ٹو ڈے وی ڈسکس دا سیکنڈ پورشن آف اٹ اینڈ دیٹ از دی سیکنڈ کنفیگریشن بیسیکلی آف دا فل ویو ریکٹیفائر اینڈ وچ از یوزنگ اے سینٹر ٹیپ ٹرانسفارمر سینٹر ٹیپ ٹرانسفارمر ناؤ ایکسکیوز دا بیک گراؤنڈ نوائسز we got a very heavy construction going on in the neighborhood a very heavy so you might have noticed it in the in the previous videos and you will notice it in the upcoming videos as well so i'm sorry for that i cannot do anything with that anyways the center taped transformer so the circuit is like this you have this is the primary winding where the input is applied fine so let's say i assume the polarity is to be like this plus minus input is applied across this and you have the secondary winding like this so you have a diode over here you have a diode over here and you have a resistor tapped in between in the middle so this is why it's called a center tap because we are tapping the winding in the middle we are connecting the load that is the resistor rl where in to in the center of the secondary winding that's why it's called a center tap now the transformer is used to give equal there is a second use of the center tap as well we had have equal potential over here as well as over here the output is taken across this resistor let me name it a plus minus v not right so what do you have is the turn ratio the turn ratio is 1 ratio 2 and what does this mean so you know this very well the number of turns over here is 1 the number of turns over here is uh, well not 1 the ratio of them is 1 ratio 2 so you could say like this if this is 1 so these are 2 which means the voltage at the secondary side has to be double that of the primary side so the voltage over here plus minus overall is double that of this v in but but it would be distributed such that half of it that is v input is across these two terms terminals and half the other half we input is across these two terminals the overall voltage across the entire circuit is two times we input because of the one ratio to uh, 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 ratio turn ratio voltage of the secondary is overall double of the primary but it is split into two parts due to the center tapping right yes so now let's let's get into the details let's get into the details so the input is applied and let's discuss the outputs so if this is my omega t axis and this is my input axis so what do i have let's say this is for the positive cycle till t by 2 this is the maximum value and similarly this is for the negative cycle till t this value is minus of vm similarly this repeats in such a fashion so let's consider that when we t is when the input voltage is greater than 0 which means the red color or the positive half cycle so what do you have so let us assume the polarities of this to be plus minus plus minus so what happens have a look this diode is going to be forward bias this diode is going to be reverse bias you know the reasons so the overall circuit would be like this you have let's say a, a plus minus i i write it in this way let's say just showing it in this way it's not like this but let me show it like this for the understanding purpose this is your load resistor rl the ideal diode is short circuited and you have a plus minus v output over here so have a look if the current flows in this direction so you have a negative to positive equal to positive to negative so you have v output equal to v input directly v output is directly equal to v input so now if i draw my output wave form 
with respect to the omega t axis so the output is just the copy of the input having a peak value of vm and, and, and I'm considering the ideal diodes. If you have a practical diode, you have a barrier potential, the peak value is Vm minus Vb, the overall waveform is Vi minus Vb at each and every point. And it will not turn on until the barrier potential is accomplished. Similarly, if you, if you include the resistance of the diode as well, so current times the resistance, you first find out the value of the current and that is also a voltage drop, so the level further reduces. Yes, simple enough. Yes. Okay. Now for the for the second half cycle, that is when your input voltage is less than zero. So let's assume that we do not change the voltage polarities. I told you in the previous video, when you have written this, that the input voltage is less than zero already. So you do not need to change the polarities of the circuit. Just reverse the current direction simply. Just simply reverse the current direction. In the previous, uh, we, we considered it from positive to negative and this consider it from negative to positive. For your understanding, you could just simply write it like this and it's flowing from a positive terminal towards the negative terminal. Overall, you know it like this. You do not need to mention these polarities. Work on the previous polarity. The overall thing is this one. That has changed, but you do not do it like this because if you get it like this, you will get V0 is equal to V input directly. Then you would say that input is negative. So the output should also be negative. V0 is equal to V input means this, right? And then you will get confused that how is this working? How is this circuit working? How is the output uh, in the positive uh, region, right? So you do it what? You just draw this plus minus, change this for your understanding purpose and then remove it back. Then remove it back. Take your already assumed first polarities, first polarities. And now apply this KVL so you have, have a look. V0 is equal to a minus of V input. So V0 in this case comes equal to V minus of V input. And V input you have said that it's negative. So minus minus would make it positive. So which means what? That this signal has been rectified like this. So if this is my t, this is my t by 2 point. And this is the same graph that we got, full wave rectifier, but this time we got it with the help of the center taped transformer. Again, the same terms, this time I may not be able to prove them, I may not be interested in the, so the first term is V average. So the average voltage, this is equal to 1 over pi, the integration over period pi of the Vm sine of omega t with respect to omega t. Do this for yourself. As this is the same as we got in the previous, V average comes out to be, V average comes out to be 2 Vm upon pi. 2 Vm upon pi. The same as the, 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 the previous one, the bridge network, because the waveform is the same. This is pi, this is 2 pi. The maximum is at a pi by 2, the minimum is at a 3 pi by 2. This is pi, this is 2 pi, it repeats. The second is VRMS. Now you know what to do for VRMS, you know the formulas, this would come out to be Vm by under root 2, Vm by under the root 2 and this is also the V input RMS value, right? Yes, you know this. Again, the efficiency number third is the efficiency. Efficiency. So that is uh, eta, so that you know is the DC power divided by the total power multiplied by 100%. Uh, DC power multiplied by AC, divided by AC power multiplied by, not AC power, total power divided by the total power. So you have a V average, I average divided by V RMS, I RMS, taking all the output values. This is V output average, okay? So if this is the I average, so the I average from here would be your 2 Vm upon pi RL. 
Similarly, V output RMS would be equal to Vm upon under the root 2 RL. Yes? Yes. So, you can just do this. You get an 881.05%. Yes. So, you get the value of eta that is the same as in the previous case we saw is 81.05 percent which is twice the efficiency of a half wave rectifier i told you over there as well twice the efficiency of a half wave rectifier the next is the transformer utilization factor so let us come to this in the end number four is the Number four is the what? Form factor and that is what you know V naught RMS by V naught average. You do this it comes out to be the same as pi divided by 2 under the root 2. Number fifth is ripple factor which is under the root form factor squared minus 1. This comes out to be 0.48. We already said in the previous video this is less than 1. So the DC component is greater than the harmonic component. So coming to the transformer utilization factor. Now why did I left it to the end? Because over here we have a center tape transformer. Which means we have got uh, a primary winding and a secondary winding and that has two turns so transformer utilization factor so what happens basically is that that the secondary winding is not working for the entire period of time write it down with yourself the secondary winding is not working for the entire period of time for the positive half cycle one half of the secondary winding is working for the negative half cycle the other half of the secondary winding is working whereas the primary winding is working in the both the states it is working as in the both the states right so secondary winding has two parts one winding is used in the prime in the positive half cycle and the other is in the secondary half cycle one ratio two means what if the primary has n turns the secondary has two n turns so which means n would operate in the uh, first cycle and n would operate in the second cycle they are not operating simultaneously but they operate separately the primary obtains the primary works in both the half cycles so that overall so primary secondary transformer utilization factor is calculated separately why because they are working for different periods of time right and then the entire for the entire transformer the tuf would be the average of the two so let me tell you let me write over here that the overall transformer utilization factor this would be equal to the transformer utilization factor of the primary plus the transformer utilization factor of the secondary whole divided by two now let us calculate so the secondary first let's say the secondary first I don't know why over here I have written secondary first. So this would be a V naught average divided by I naught average divided by so the voltage across the secondary. So the total voltage over here is a plus minus. So this is input. So the total overall voltage is a two times V input. So I would have a two times V RMS of the source and into ISRMS so what do you have put put the values please 2vm by pi 2vm by pi rl divided by 2 times vm by under the root 2 into Vm by 2 Rl. So this is uh, Im by 2 basically. The source RMS value is Im by 2 and you know from your 
network analysis why is this i m by 2 isrm is why is this i m by 2 homework problem for you let me know in the comment section now why a homework as all the teachers do they don't know by themselves so they say this is a homework so this i don't know why is this i m by 2 let this be your homework let me know in the comment section let me know i am serious ask your teacher in this circuit why is this source rms current taken i m by 2 and let me know solving this gives you a 4 by pi square which is an 81 percent this gives you a 4 by pi squared which is a 0 0.81 similarly the transformer utilization factor of the primary side can can we just do it directly because this is working for half the cycle but the primary is working for both the cycles so can i just simply multiply this by a 2 to get a what to get a 0.572 to get a 0.572 so this comes out to be 0.81 plus 0.57 divided by 2 and the final value let me write with the black color is 0 0.69 so transformer utilization factor is 0 0.69 or 69 percent which means you are utilizing 69 percent of the transformers capacity which is poor than the bridge network in the bridge network i believe we got 81 percent i have it over here uh, I have it over here wait yes it is 81 percent so that is a great one so which means the the, the that is a, a good one the peak inverse rating so that is an important point over here so what could be the maximum voltage that could be applied across a diode over here so let's say for the open circuit case we consider the first the forward biasing case so have a look let's say this is a plus this is a minus you have it like this a plus minus and, and this one was uh, open circuited so you had this open circuited let's say we, we gave it a, a piv piv voltage of plus to minus so have a look minus to plus minus to plus is equal to plus to minus so piv is equal to the input voltage plus the v output voltage and the output voltage is again equal to the input voltage so input voltage again let's say we write it in terms of vm so this is equal to two times vm so the open circuit voltage that each diode when in the non-conduction state one in one cycle the other in the other cycle has to accomplish is twice the maximum value of the input voltage so which means that it's the circuit you are designing so for that the diode that you will use should have a piv rating of greater than or equal to two times the maximum value of your input is that clear till here it is and that is it about it as well that is it about it higher breakdown voltage so this is a higher breakdown voltage right so this implies that with this your cost would also increase with this your cost would increase you have two diodes basically that is your mm, advantage but over here the breakdown cost has increased have a look the efficiency is quite high the efficiency is quite high but the ripple factor is low the ripple factor is also low which is again less where is the ripple factor this is again uh, you know a, a good consideration because this is a lower value and the transformer utilization factor is again high but the 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 the, the bridge network is good in this case so overall we have already seen the overall everything for each average value efficiency form factor ripple factor transforming utilization factor so you have to take your own consideration when you are given a particular problem you have money cost is not a problem for you efficiency is you go for one network you don't have money you don't have the budget 
The budget is the problem for you. Efficiency is not. You go for another circuit. That depends on you whatever is the requirement of the given condition. So I hope you guys have understood it. That is it. Maybe we see an example in the next video. But the book example remains. So let's say give the next video to the examples. And after that we move into the next topic of clippers. Till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Yes, do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.